Chemistry is the study of matter and the chemical reactions between substances, where chemistry is also the study of matter's composition, structure and properties. So here we're looking at what happens when we add the following to water. So a polar molecule is one which has a partial positive and a partial negative end. So they don't have full charges like ionic compounds. So when a poly polar solute is dissolved in a polar solvent, the charged ends of the water molecules attract oppositely to the charged ends of the polar solute. So what we have is a hydration occurring. However, the nonpolar solute lacks these interactions, so it does not dissolve. Next, we have KF, which is a soluble ionic compound and can ionize completely. To give K plus and F minus. If we take a look at glucose here, this undergoes hydration because it is a polar molecule. Next we have RBCL versus AGCL. So RBCL is a soluble ionic compound. It, it ionizes to exist as RB plus and Cl minus. Whereas AGCL is an insoluble ionic compound. So Ag plus Cl minus stay together and precipitate. Lastly, we have HNO3, which is a strong acid and a strong electrolyte. So what we have is hydration occurring here. When in water, uh, CO also being polar, also becomes hydrated.